Hello there, humans and bizarre things, wherever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Today, I'm going to be having a look at a, uh, a bit of gameplay from Red Helix and Owen Wilson. And it's going to be a very interesting format. I've not done it before. It's going to be kind of a narrative of a platoon game that was pretty spectacular and featured some fantastic teamwork and some very, very interesting tactical situations. And it's going to be the Battle of Middleburg, the Ridge Lines, the Runners. There's going to be a Centurion 7 and 1. That's Owen Wilson. And Red Helix is going to be rocking him and socking him in the AMX Premier, the uh, Proto, which is a hell of a tank at Tier 9. Two of my absolute favorite Tier 9 mediums, which happen to feature Gundam depression and strong turrets which is no surprise i guess when you look at the kind of play style that i really really enjoy uh that i, I look i'm not sure how it's gonna go this is the first time i've ever done this and uh i've done platoon videos before but more in a split screen format and far less as a narrative and i've got to be honest the editing was quite spectacularly difficult uh Finding something that's suited and especially in my normal format where I, I tend to talk a lot and talk bollocks but do it without a script. So the narrative had to suit the edit and vice versa. Well, let's see how we go anyway. Let's let's talk about the Battle of Middleburg. Uh, we're going to kick off on top of the medium route. Now, it's very, very noticeable here that the red team has a bunch of meds, but they've also got a buttload of big German heavies, heavies E-75s and VK-45 O2Bs. And... Red goes high, which is pretty standard here for Middleburg. A very, very good position for a tank like this too, with strong gun depression, strong turret, and a very, very good penetration profile. And if you look to the left of the screen, you'll see that uh, Owen Wilson, is he's pushed down low. He's uh, doing good things in the Sense 701. Now, the 701 is running the L7A1 with the Hesh. Really loves the Hesh. If we look at it from Owen's perspective, you'll see straight away that he goes low. Now, this is a pretty odd situation for a Sent 7 and 1 to have another tank that is probably better suited to the high side as a tier 9 medium than he is. But suffice to say that they're very good as a team and he does try and overlook and get spots. And in fact, there he goes. He gets the first opportunity for shots, but just puts a hash round into the side of that Sent 1 who was really wide open for business early and then gets pushed very, very hard down low. You can see there's an AMX CDC and a T-54 Lightweight who both hook around and start pressuring our Amigo. Not to worry though, here comes the AMX Proto and Red Helix is all across it and pumps hard with a lovely no scope into the side of the T-54 Lightweight. He takes one from Red, one from Owen and that makes him a very easy one shot and Red doesn't overextend there either just taking a nice easy time of it now owen's really bleeding all the hit points at the combo but someone had to do it like one of them had to be the guy who was getting shot at and one of them had to be the guy who was doing the shooting and in this instance that was red and owen swapping places red hooks back high and starts covering off on the 54e1 who is doing all kinds of nasty stuff up the top and he's probably a little bit late to the party. If we cut back here, you can see Owen is under the pump from both those tanks. And as they get cleared, Red's going to go high and engage that 54E1. Now, Owen's got a very interesting decision to make. He can either uh, slip back up high, help Red with the 54E1, stay low and just see who bleeds hit points the most and go and help them. But what he does instead is cruise across here and help the two guys on his team out at the back who have been pushed by the sent one that we saw earlier in the piece, who went low around the medium section of Middleburg. Very, very dodgy thing to do and then pushed up very, very late into the piece, into the top section of the battle, and really got punished for it. The E1 and the Sent 1 were both very late here. Now, Owen, lucky bounce there, 225 Alpha. He really would have felt the punish from that. He's waiting for the reload, and as he reloads, he goes up towards the E1 himself. And this is where we see a repeat of the crossover from earlier, only this time... Owen's going to hook around low, Red's going to hook around high, and Red's going to take the uh, the kill and move on towards the left side of the map. Or rather, as they say in military terms, the southern end of the ridgeline on Middleburg. And this is a typical Middleburg game where a bunch of people have gone town for no apparent reason, got sliced and diced by the heavies, and then a bunch of the mediums at the top are like, what the F are you doing? 
Red's going to be the first to get the engagement going over here, and he's going to engage this E75 who is finishing off the IS-3. Now, the IS-3 was lunatic for going low. He uh, basically was facing 4502B and an E75, two 4502Bs, which is bad news for a Russian Tier 8 knife fighter. Like, the BL-9 is going to struggle to pen those tanks at the best of times with 225mm, and he really left himself in a rough spot. Red's very, very keen to get shots off here, but he knows that if he exposes too far, the E-75 has enough of a gun to get the job done and actually hit him. So he goes for a hatch shot. It's not to be. The FCM-50 goes down, and things are looking pretty grim. Let's look at it from the perspective of our good mate, Owen Wilson. Now, this is exactly what we're talking about with the E-75 and the 452-02Bs, 4502Bs, having the ability to penetrate these turrets, even at range. Uh, Owen's bled a little bit at the top there when he got pushed on and things have evened up very very quickly that 50t should never have gone down in the town there was no need for it and as he goes down owen probably should reset camo here a little bit better than he does he uh goes a bit high gives the 4502b a chance at a very very narrow shot like he wouldn't have had much of a margin there but he takes it and now owen really has to pull back he's got no no real uh ability to bleed any more hit points he is a one shot for every single tank on the battlefield red's gonna go and overlook this pattern who also shouldn't have pushed down like pushing down into town in a couple of mediums versus that much german steel at this tier is crazy and they absolutely get pounded that's left our boys the protagonists on a 2v3 situation with a lot of armor to get through Owen is starting to bleed on the right as Red just keeps pumping the corner and where Owen copped one and penetrated on the very, very top of the set 7-1, uh, Red is very, very lucky there and gets a clutch bounce. This means Owen has to really, really be careful. And we go back to Owen's side of things and have a look at his perspective. And you're going to note that Owen is now doing a very, very dodgy little dance where he is running hair shots and then he is fully resetting his camo. And if we look to the middle of the screen there, the 4502B is starting to trudge up that hill to take the fight to Red Helix, who's got a lot of hit points left in the AMX Premier Proto, the uh, the big dog French medium. Owen is playing a very, very dicey game here, trying to reel shots off while having two guns pointing directly at him. Despite the fact that he's got a strong turret, I mean, even Hesh rounds, oh, low roll on the Hesh, getting a little bit of track there, not very, very cool. We cross back live now to uh, Red Helix, who is being pushed on by the 4502B. Now, this is where the 4502B makes a huge error. There is no way he should be turning towards Owen Wilson there. And that means that Red is going to get the first shot off in what promises to be a bloody and bitter 1v1. And that gives him the opportunity to eat one and be pretty sure of himself in terms of the DPM traits. He's taken one shot, but he's managed to get three back. And as the reload sits down, does a lovely little under the gun and moves forward. Owen is getting pumped and pushed over here by the last remaining two big German heavies. Sneaks across on the reload and sticks one in. Oh, that was very, very close. But now he's under it. He's really in tr trouble and strife. The last 4502B is pushing him hard, hot, and heavy. And if he can get across that mound, it's going to be curtains for Owen Wilson. Not to worry. Like a fury from the skies, Red Healy's comes screaming across. <laughs> oh, have a look at that from Owen's perspective. What a beautiful thing to see your platoon mate turn up at that last critical moment. And now it's all over bar the shouting as Owen and Red go to put the coup de gras into this big dog with a massive... 490 Hesh roll for 4,000 damage and one kill for our mate Owen Wilson, the 7-1. Have a look, though, at Red Helix. 5,733 damage in the AMX 31 ER Pro, the premier prototype, uh, for a big mastery and a high kill platoon game. Six kills, 9,733 damage. Well, basically 10k damage between the two of them. Hell of a game there, boys, and a wonderful example of of medium teamwork on the Middleburg Ridgeline, even when the team seems determined to push down into the heaviest and hardest tanks on the battlefield. I'm Bushka. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one. A little bit of a different take on the world. I hope it uh, is something you liked. Maybe do some more of it in the future. Until next time, look after yourselves and stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.